So let's get started on the three different ways to record your tongue drum audio. Welcome to Root Rhythm. Join me, Alex Ray, as I share my favorite tongue drum and frame drum resources and tutorials. Subscribe now to begin exploring your rhythm. Hello, so today I wanted to do a video tutorial of my audio setup that I've been using to record my tongue drum. And this is actually the same setting that I used, uh, the same equipment and setup for my more recent course called Tongue Drum Relaxation Rhythms. I'll put a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. But I had a couple people ask, how was I recording audio in this course? And so I wanted to demonstrate my setup, some of the equipment I use, and just my approach to recording sound on the tongue drum. So the first thing that I did was decide, okay, what's the room I am in? What's the ambiance? And how do I make sure that the tongue drum sound um, is really conducive to the room I'm in? So the first thing I actually tested out was where the tongue drum needs to be placed. And I originally put the tongue drum on a wooden floor without carpet and realized that there was way too much bounce. The sound was going in a lot of different directions and it was a little too sharp and bouncy. So I decided to actually record on carpet. But if you put the tongue drum directly onto carpet, it's too muffled. So I'm using one of my stands um, that my husband and I built and designed, and this goes right onto the carpet, and the tongue drum sits right on top. And this is great because it allows um, the tongue drum to be slightly lifted, but there's not too much echo and reverberation going on from a wooden floor. I also am using two different mic setups. So this first mic right here is what I'm using to record specifically the tongue drum. And I set it right underneath, um, right on the carpet underneath the tongue drum. And this worked really well for this tongue drum design because it has a hole at the bottom. And some tongue drums have this hole, some don't. Some have a plug. You can take the plug out. But this is a cool way to um, set this up because some of the sound will come directly from the bottom and the rest comes through the top. So having the mic below is capturing a lot of that sound and it's close enough that it's catching that quality in the, the tones right here. This is a very simple mic. You can get it between 50 and 100 bucks um, and that's for the tongue drum. My second mic is a shotgun mic. It's a Rode. This one's a little more pricey. I think it was around 250. Um, you can definitely find others that are less expensive, more expensive. There's a pretty good range, but this one's really great because I mount it on the stand and it's close enough to my voice. It's a shotgun mic, so it's getting my voice and picking up that sound. So two mic setup for this. What happens is that I want to now connect these mics to my camera. And this is what I use to record my course on and a lot of other videos. And so the audio needs to go directly into this camera. So what I use to do this is called an audio interface. And this is a audio box go. You can get it for around 80 bucks online. Very simple, approachable piece of equipment. It basically allows you to take two mics and input into this box. You can control the levels on both mics so you can basically mix it and decide how to find a really good balance between your two mics. Uh, you can listen with headphones, you can adjust the volume, and then these two mics feed out of the back and go directly into this camera. And what this does is it takes two different audio tracks, combines it, mixes it, and goes into the camera and it comes out as one single audio track that is connected to the video. So it makes it really easy when you're editing to go this route. Okay, so an alternative setup, if you know you no, don't wanna record video and you don't wanna use a fancy camera and you just wanna focus on audio, is to still use the interface and have it plug in directly to a laptop or your computer. And this is perfect if you're using software programs for editing audio, like GarageBand, uh, Ableton, Logic. And so you could actually record your mics if you have one or two 
still use this interface to kind of dial it in and then it plugs directly into your laptop and so you can actually record on the spot so that would be an option for if you're really wanting to do more music and have a lot of tracks um, and export something as like a song so that is my basic setup to my setup for the audio I'm gonna do a little demonstration so that you can hear the difference between using mics like this and actually the audio that comes directly from what I'm filming on right now, which is an iPhone. So I want you to hear the difference between iPhone audio and then this type of mic setup so you can decide what approach you want to do for audio recording. So here's the first one with just me playing the tongue drum. So that is just recording the tongue drum audio. Now, if you decide that you want to be speaking or singing in the second mic, maybe you have another instrument or another drum you want to mic or play in, I'm going to demonstrate how I will talk um, over me playing the tongue drum and how both of these mics sync and feed into the audio. Do the same thing. You'll hear it coming from this nice camera with these nice mics and you'll hear it coming directly from this iPhone. So here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... We're gonna move around the drum a little. Play some higher notes. So that's an example of two different mics um, recording audio on a camera and on an iPhone. Okay, so the next part is that I wanted to share is imagine you say, you know what, I don't want to fiddle with an expensive camera. I don't even want to record video. I really just want to record audio. I'm going to show another setup that you could use that doesn't include an audio interface doesn't oops, include a fancy camera. It's just a way to record straight audio um, out of your tongue drum. So if you decide you don't need to record video and just want to record straight audio, this is the easier setup without all the extra um, equipment. And I am using this Zoom H4n as my audio recording device. And I love this. I've used this a lot for a lot of different projects. It's great because it also has two inputs and you can record directly um, using mics. You can also record straight from the top mic that's built in. So you have a lot of different options. Um, this is around like $150, $200. There's a lot of different versions. So some are cheaper, more expensive, but if you are really interested in doing audio recording, this is a great first step to something you might want to invest in. So I have the same mic set up, mic one here on the tongue drum, mic two here, uh, recording my um, talking, my audio. These are feeding directly into the bottom. And then there's different controllers you can use to, again, mix and decide the levels that you want to record on. And what's cool is this records directly into this, and so you just have an SD card that it records directly on, which is nice. What's also cool is you can really monitor a lot closely, like, the levels of your audio. So you can use headphones like this and plug it right into here and listen to check your levels. Um, you don't need fancy headphones. This also supports just regular iPhone or just any type of um, headphone jack. Just goes right into here. So I want to do a little test like I did earlier and record um, me playing and talking using both of these mics and then record 
directly uh, from the iPhone so you can kind of compare audio for both of these options as well. So here we go. Um, start with the tongue drum. different videos on a lot of different sounds and musical instruments, please subscribe.